Continuing with our loose series on pocket survival kits, today we're going to look at some of these metal flat survival kit um, cards, multi-tool cards. Uh, Ready Man kind of invented this, I think, and this is a cheap Chinese knockoff, uh, the PS Kook survival card. Um, I thought we'd look at this. I have got some Ready Man on order. And when it comes in, we'll, we'll review it also. But I thought we'd go ahead and look at these cheap Chinese knockoffs and see if there's any value in them. All right, so here the cards are laid out. They come in this fairly nifty little felt-like case. It's a soft case, which I think is good considering, you know, that they're, they can be sharp pieces of metal. And I'm just going to hold them up one at a time. This seems to be more of a fishing gigging um card they don't come with with any kind of uh, instructions or or uh, glossary this also looks like a, a fork to eat with and more, more fishing hooks i guess they expect this to be a knife there's a saw blade and um, the uh, more fishing hooks. Looks like an awl, some uh, sewing paraphernalia there. And this one, let's grab it onto my finger. More fishing hooks and saws and, and uh, arrowheads, I guess. Now, these guys here. I'm not sure what they are unless they're meant to be um, those uh, guides that you put on cord. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take certain pieces off and see how well they work. Now, I've got my Leatherman here in case I need help getting them off or if I need to fine tune with the file maybe some, some burrs. But really, this stuff, to be what it's supposed to be, a standalone survival card, should be able to function just by me pulling this stuff off with my hands. So we're going to try that first. But, um, you know, the attraction here is that this stuff is very flat, low profile. You can carry quite a bit of stuff, you know, supposedly if you're ever going to need it. Um... I am curious though if number one who needs that many fish hooks but uh, I am curious as to whether or not you'd be better off just carrying the the actual items themselves but anyway we're gonna have good attitude about this <laughs> and we're gonna see how these work all right all right I've picked just some some different items off of these cards and I will tell you and you can you can see from the blood some of these things are sharp. I skewered myself on this. Uh, I don't know what you would call that because with that big end, I don't. I don't think it's a sewing needle. That's more of a sewing needle, but man, it's small. Anyway, um, some of them peel off okay. Some of them have a lot of burrs. Some of these items, I don't see how I could get off if I didn't have a pair of. Uh, pliers a leatherman or something but what I thought we would do is try to use these and see how well they did all right first of all we got this big saw let's see and and there's there's a hole on each end so you're supposed to probably tie a rope to each end and use it like that um, and I can do that but uh, let's see Let's see if we can use the, the fine side. Mm, not really doing much to that, uh, that can. Yeah, that saw is not, not eating into anything too much. Uh, 
think you would be here a long time before that saw did anything to a piece of metal. So let's uh, let's let tie some string and see if we can make this uh, bigger side work on some wood. All right, so I've thrown some wire on it, kind of wire you might expect to have in a uh, survival kit, and let's see what it does. Works after a fashion. Works after a fashion. Now the fish hooks, I'm not gonna go fishing, but yeah, they would work. I mean a lot of things will work for a fish hook, and I will say they have quite a variety of types. But yeah, the fish hooks would probably work. Alright, so we made us a little spear just out of some more of that wire. And I don't mind telling you that doing this by hand without a tool is hard. Um, you really are going to need a, um, a Leatherman or something if you want to successfully build things. But that does make a spear. Um, I think they actually meant for this to be an arrowhead. But, you know, if you're busy building bows and arrows, I don't know. You're probably in, you're probably in some trouble. My, my use of this would be... To make a dog spear and if you're one of my five faithful you know that i believe very much in having a dog stick if you are in a get home situation because um in most environments that, that we're going to get into in a get home situation it's not going to be grizzly bears it's going to be you know feral or neighborhood dogs giving us trouble as we skirt through the backs of subdivisions or or past farmhouses so a good dog stick could do wonders. So, I mean, you know, that works. And it would certainly be better if I had more than just my fingers to, uh, to build it. I could get that thing real tight. But yeah, that works. That works. <laughs> well, if those were tweezers, I broke them right off the bat. Um, maybe I'm misusing them. I, I'm not real sure. But they didn't have any kind of uh, crimpage or crease that would caused them to give some some elasticity so um yeah i broke those so and, unless you're going to use them like chopsticks i don't i don't see how they would work as um as tweezers okay <laughs> let's look at this knife blue and i lost a lot of my um fish hooks i'm sure i'll find them one day all right so i cheated I use my knife sharpener to try to put an edge on this thing. Let's see if it did any good. So here's just a piece of paracord. Let's see if we got any kind of edge. Now I'm going to be extra fair. Wow, okay, now that was 50 strokes per side using this sharpener, the, the rough side. So, could I make a knife out of it? Yeah, yeah, I could. And, um, you know, if I took the time to really sharpen it, it would do better than, than that, but yeah, I could. All right, so is there anything else in here that we really need to test? I think the fork would work um, we kind of saw what the saws do I have no doubt that the uh, the little um, I guess you just call those needles would work to a degree I think there would be some hard pushing but they'd work now those needles right there they'd probably do better so there's no way that needle is going to work going through material unless I shave those burrs off. And for that, I'm going to use my Leatherman uh, file. Well, for some reason, they put a hole in the middle of this needle. And so I've bent the thing over and over. It's about to break now. 
because they put that hole in there and I really think that that damages its ability to work correctly. I don't know why they did that. Um, I, yeah, they did it with that one too. Not sure why. And these aren't really needles because look at those, look at those uh, barbs. There's no way that's going through fabric. So, so I'm going to kind of put a kibosh on the, the whole needle thing. All right, so that's about all the time I'm going to spend on this. I'll be getting the Ready Man, uh, which is the original idea, I guess, of, of this in, and we'll compare the two a little bit, although I'll, I'll look at the Ready Man on its own merits, too. But anyway... That's the little Chinese knockoff of the Ready Man, the, what's it called again? The, P.S. Kook, the P.S. Kook survival car. Hey, thanks for watching.